In this task, we're going to compare two ways of doing the same operations. In the first cell here, we're going to print the numbers 1, 2, 5, and 9 along with their squared. So 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 5 times 5, and 9 times 9. And we get 1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 25, 9, and 81. This is fine if we've only got four numbers that we're interested in, but what if we had 100 numbers? that we're interested in. We would have to write 200 lines of code. And that's not particularly efficient. It's going to take us quite a long time. Really, it's no better than just writing things out with pen and paper. But we can use a for loop, defined by the word for, to cycle through a list, which we covered in the previous notebook, of the numbers 1, 2, 5, and 9. So what this says is for number in 1, 2, 5, and 9, and then importantly there's a colon, do everything that's indented. So everything that's got four spaces before it, or one tab. Now, what we want to do in this case is exactly what we did here. Print the number, like 1, 2, 5, and 9, and then print the number times itself, like this line, this line, this line, and this line. And if I run that cell, I get the exact same outputs. 1, 1, 2, 4, 525 and 981. So you can see that using the for loop took me three lines of code, not using it took me eight, and if I'd had a hundred uh, numbers to do this for, the for loop would still have taken three lines of code and the other version would have taken 200.